Good evening, everyone. I'm Bob Evans. Last night in his State of the State address, Governor Cox reiterated something he said last month in front of some of Utah's most powerful business and community leaders. Housing attainability is a crisis in Utah and every state in the country. Those are not idle words. For more than a century, home ownership has been the cornerstone of the American dream. It is the key to financial independence and the ability to break away from government support. Home ownership is also the key to family and community. He says people who own homes care more about their neighbors and local politics. They also have more financial and social capital. The governor says recent polling indicates the two biggest issues for Utahns right now are inflation and the high cost of housing. And those two issues have far-reaching tentacles. The historic rule of thumb has been roughly 30% of your income should go toward housing. If you pay more than 30%, you're considered cost burdened. Dan Eskich is a senior research fellow at the Kemsey Gardner Institute, specializing in housing, construction, and real estate. And so in Utah, you know, especially if we look at renters, about half of the renters are cost burdened, meaning they pay more than 30% of their income going to housing. He says 15% of Utah renters are now paying 50% of their income to housing. So the more burdened your population come, becomes, the less they have an opportunity to spend money elsewhere. So this, this is why this is a big challenge right now. And for renters who are trying to someday buy a home, the American dream has become more of a pipe dream. It's a source of frustration, I think, for a lot of uh, of Utahns right now. Steve Waldrop is the senior policy advisor to Governor Cox on housing strategy and innovation. He says a large portion of the rising generation, for no fault of their own, find themselves still living with mom and dad. And, and they can't fledge, they can't get out of the nest um, because they don't have the opportunities that, that once existed that have come to define the American dream. Uh, the opportunity to go out and, and create your own wealth by purchasing property. Um, property ownership is really the, the bedrock of our, of our nation and our society, and it has been for a very, very long time, and, and that's in jeopardy right now. And that is why Governor Cox has called for 35,000 new starter homes over the next five years. But there is so much more to solving this huge problem than just building more starter homes. The financial markets, private business, the legislature, city planning and zoning commissions, developers, and the potential homeowners themselves all have roles to play in making it possible for wealth to be passed on to the next generation. And in the coming days, weeks, and months, Fox 13 News will focus on this issue as we move forward together in trying to preserve the Utah way of life. Stay tuned.